elsewhere. Oh, Lord, in me, oh, Lord, in mine, run it to the Lord knows where. coaches long you can hear the whistle blow a hundred miles oh lord in me oh lord in my you can hear the whistle blow a hundred miles Travel to the west, and I'm 900 miles from my home. Oh Lord, in me, oh Lord, in mine, and I'm 900 miles from my home. Howdy folks, welcome to OnlineLessonVideos.com. I'm Ryan Spearman. This is volume 9 of the Clawhammer Banjo series. And today we're going to use the song Ruben's Train as a means of exploring the open D tuning. And also we're going to further explore some right hand ideas we touched on in the last volume. So grab your banjos and let's make some noise. Alright, in order to play Ruben's Train, we're going to go to another tuning that we haven't talked about yet. This is the open D tuning. Um, so far, if we play anything in the key of D, we've been tuning to a double C tuning and capoing up on the second fret, as you know. Um, this is the open D, so when we strum all the strings, we're going to get a D chord. So it's very similar to the open G, and I'm going to show you how to get there from open G tuning, your standard tuning. Um, we're going to start on the fourth string. We'll leave the fifth string alone for a second. In order to tune to an open chord, you just need to have the three notes that make up that chord. And in this case, a D major chord is a D, an F sharp, and an A. So we want each string on the banjo to represent one of those notes. We're going to start with our fourth string, which is already tuned, as you know, to a D. So we're going to leave that right where it is. Now we're going to move on to the third string. Now, this is tuned to a G at the moment. We need it to be either a D, an F sharp, or an A. Now, the F sharp and the A are both possibilities here um, because one of them is just a half step below and one of them is a whole step up. In this tuning, this is the standard way to go to open D. We're going to pretty much relieve the tension on every string. We're going to tune down to our alternate notes. So here we're going to take our G down to an F sharp. Um, one way you can find that, you can use a tuner, but you can also use your D string and play the fourth fret there, and that'll give you an F sharp. And you can try to match your third string to that note. Let's move on to the second string. Right now that's tuned to a B. That's our standard tuning. Um, we're going to tune this one down to an A. That's the closest note we have out of our options. And our first string is tuned to a D, so we're going to leave that. Sounds pretty nice together. You're going to have to do some fine tuning when you retune your banjo to the open D. It relieves a lot of tension, surface tension, and uh, wreaks a little havoc on the fine tuning. So you want to get into the tune and then, and then work some of the, the fine points from there. 
Um, the fifth string, again, just like our third string, this is tuned to a G note and standard tuning. So we can either bring it down to an F sharp or up to an A. Um, this is where a lot of people differ on the open D tuning. Some, I'd say the majority of folks probably go up to an A. Um, and then fewer folks, but not such a minority, like to tune down to the F sharp as well. I do it as a, on a tune by tune basis. I decide what I like for a particular tune. Um, tuning to the A, which is the fifth of the chord, it's the five tone, if that makes any sense to you. Um, that's a little more safer note to tune to. When we tune down to the F sharp, that makes for the third note of the chord sitting on the on the drone string. And it can create some some notes that can sound kind of dissonant against the, uh, the tune. But that's what we're going to do for this tuning. And a lot of folks will tune down to the F sharp for a... Uh, to play Ruben's Train. So there you have it, the open D. Let's, let's review that really quickly. We've got F sharp on the top on the fifth string. We've got a D for the fourth, F sharp for the third, A for the second, and D for the first. Now that sounds good. I'm going to take a second to use my tuner and get right in standard tuning so that we sound the same when we're playing together here. All right, so Ruben's Train is going to incorporate something that we touched on in the last last lesson in Volume 8, um, and that's what I call the boom, boom chicka double thumma, to use my banjo language. Um, and that's just going to be a basic rhythm pattern with the right hand, just a slight extension on the basic strum by adding what most people call a double thumb movement. So we'll get to that in the second measure here. We're about to break this tune down measure by measure. Um, just a little warning there, that'll be our right hand technique for the day. So let's start with measure one of Ruben's Train. We're going to start with two basic strums. Um, the first one's going to begin on the third string with a slide up to the third fret. And that's our basic unit. That's half the measure. Second half of the measure is another basic strum. We're going to start that with the first fret on the uh, third string, and we're going to pull off. So that'll make the entire measure sound something like this. All right, shouldn't be anything too new for you there. Um, second measure, going back to that note on the third fret, third string. And here's where that right hand rhythm pattern comes in. We did this on Cindy in volume eight. And I'm going to show you here in Ruben's Train an example of how we can use this as a, in, in a similar fashion, but also as a bit of a filler. Well, in this tune, a lot of the times we'll use it to fill in the space at the end of the melody phrases. Uh, so here's the second measure one more time for you in its entirety. And notice we have a boom, chick, uh,